when you're using the base with options format, there is an implication upon how you actually associate additional information with the work instructions. For instance, when you look at the uh, Excel sheet that's produced here, you can see that what's happening as we talked about before, you get a base, you get the base with the sand floor option, you get the base with the paint floor option, and you get an all. Now obviously you can have many, many different options, there could be many different pages. And the issue is that when you've got the base, which is the items you see in grey here, those items actually appear on every single one of the sheets. So if you look at the first one here, the FH space F here, you can see it right here. It's got a value of 13 over here. It appears in the base, it appears in the base with sand floor, it appears in the base with paint, and it appears in the all area. So maybe you want to associate a particular picture with that particular item. Obviously, you don't want to have to put it into, in this case, four different sheets, but it could be many, many different sheets. It's very time-consuming. So the trick here, what you have to do is you have to put any additional information that you add to a particular process, add it to the all page, right? And then what's going to happen is the next time you generate a revision, in other words, you can see up at the top here, we're on revision one, we generate revision two, we make a change in here in revision one. When it goes to revision two, whatever change is made in the all page is going to be propagated through all of the other sheets as well. So obviously that can save you a tremendous amount of time and it keeps everything in sync. So let's assume now that I have another sheet here and it contains some data I want to copy over into this new one here. So maybe I want to take this, these two icons here and I'm going to copy them and I'm going to switch back to the one we're dealing with here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert some rows here. So let's say I put in like this amount of rows. Go to my home, just insert. Nothing special, just all done in Excel here. And I'm just going to put it here and paste that in here. So there are my icons, and then I'm going to go back and get the picture that I want to put in here. So I'll take this picture here and copy it over. So obviously these can be coming from anywhere, these, this uh, information here. Paste it in. And just like before, I have to make sure when you're looking at your uh, your layout here, that everything fits within the imaginary rectangle between in the uh, particular step that you're working with before the next one here. And obviously I could put in additional notes and anything else I'd like to add in here. But let's just say we have this one in here. We're currently on revision one. And obviously that those pictures and icons are not in any of the other formats here. So what am I going to do here? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here. I'm just going to save it with anything else and I'll close out of it and I can minimize this guy. So you click here, you go to package, you say package your station. Now all you have to do is you have to find the same folder that was in before so you don't have to do anything else. Leave the word package here, that's important. I'm going to go to base plus options, option one handling and I'll leave it here. I click on the save and now it's going to go away and it's going to start building option number two. Now option number two will copy the data from the all sheet and put on all the other pages. You can see it's starting to do that right here. This can take a little bit of time, but again, it's preferable to doing it manually. Okay, so now the process is finished. You can see the cover sheet with the same items we had before. We're on revision two up here. And if we look at each of the uh, pages in turn, the base has got the pictures, the base with sand floor, the base with paint floor, of course, it's all where we put it in. So again, the idea is any additional information you want to add to flush out your work instructions, put them onto the all page and then generate a new revision and it will automatically propagate the changes through all of the different levels here. And don't forget, you might want to put a note into your uh, uh, revision history, your own manually maintained revision history to tell it what you've done.